Hey Eagle, how you doing? impatient waiting for my brushes oh no i'm sorry to hear that friend have they suggested how long the delay is going to be or is it just a you just gotta wait situation until the 30th of April oh well hopefully they don't delay it again because I mean that's what two days um but yeah hopefully they don't delay it again because that seems really unfair especially if they've not given you a reason why they keep delaying it but on the 15th ugh, that sucks like I've got a, an order that I put in for something a little while ago that's been delayed because of um, issues at the border. Um, but after I chased them about it, they told me what was causing the delay. Oh no, I got my squigs. Um, in fact, I'm building them tonight. Um, yeah, there was a delay at the border with something that I'm still waiting for. Um, and after I chased them about it, they did explain what was going on and they've tried to give me a rough time frame on when they think it'll be fixed. But that's what I get for living in a shit country. <laughs> I guess. Hey Rocket, how you doing? Um, I'm gonna get us started. So... Going on. Fair enough. Uh, yes, I got my squigs last week, um, and because I finished painting the Inquisitor Grox uh, mini, as a reminder, here he is. Da -da. Um, I decided to start building my squigs. Oh, Hulu, that's okay, friend. You... You just sit and relax, and if you have to go, you have to go. Big hugs, friend. But thank you for popping in and saying hello. I hope you feel better soon. Hey, Mod Hale, how you doing? Apparently they're waiting for stock, even though when I ordered them, everything was still available. Oh, I've had that happen before, Eagle. It's really unfortunate. I don't know if it's a timing thing, like other people have bought the same thing, and they've got there like a fraction of a second sooner or what but yeah it sucks when that happens I really do hope that you get your brushes soon um <clears throat> so a couple of things before I start building my squigs uh first off uh I finally finally replaced the blade <laughs> Uh, but I kept the old one, just so that I could show you folks the difference, because it's actually, like, visible. Hey, moustache, how you doing? So, yeah. This is the blade that I've been using for the last... Like, six months? <laughs> And this is the fresh blade that I put in this evening, just before I started streaming. You can see the difference. Hey, Dammy! Thank you for the resub, friend! Like, four months, that's wicked. Thank you. Okie doke, Hulu. You take care, friend. And I hope you have fun with Warhammer 2. Just, um... 
take care of yourself, okay? Um, and I don't know what options you have, but if uh, you want some help picking, I'm sure chat and I can help you out there. <laughs> hey, Panda. Yes, it is uh, a massive difference. This one is completely fucked. Um, and I should have changed it a long time ago, but I'm lazy. Hey, Lynn, how you doing? Decided to paint the 144 pile that I got in my real grade. Also, the ritual is complete. Yes, the ritual is complete. Oh, that's a point. Did I? I think I did. Give me a sec. Um, oh, I didn't. I need to turn that off. I left the um, Kickstarter um, timer on my bot running. Uh, no point in that now. Um, yeah, so that was the first thing I wanted to go over before um, I get into the actual building. It's impounded early because I'm as tight as built grass and we bought a very sexy little mini Stanley knife with blades. Oh, fab! That's wicked moustache. I love a good bargain. Like, um, these are knockoff God Hand snips. They're just as good as God Hand's. They cost me like two quid. <laughs> From Wish, would you believe? Um, but yeah, I love a good bargain. So, uh, Poundland. Mini Stanley knife. I'll have to take a look. Not that I really go to Poundland very often because that involves being outside where the people are. Um... Oh, cool, Hulu. Um... Yes, uh, congratulations to Lynn on um, successfully funding her first ever comic book Kickstarter. It's very great news. I'm very, very excited to read it when it comes out. Uh, and um, good luck with the, the real grade and painting the pilot, Lynn. Um, hello, Cyborg. How you doing? Uh, really good chilli and rice for dinner. Nice. Nice. I've not had chili in ages. Sharp blade or a dull blade is more dangerous. The dull blade is much more dangerous. Yes. Yeah, that's very true, Eagle. Um, and the master grade also got the master grade Bob Atos. Oh yes, of course you did, didn't you? I bet that's going to be fun to build. Is that a famed comic writer, Lynn Squiggly? It is. Hey, Titters, how you doing, friend? Hey, Zathia, how you doing? Oh, nice cyborg. Um, I'm going to say the number eight, Hulu. Okay, so... Ah! Brilliant. Thank you for the link, Tidders. I was going to put something in the bot for it, but I didn't have the link to hand. Uh, so I will do that after the, this stream. Um, so that you've got a little bit of an extra boost during my streams as well. Okay. <laughs> now there's three numbers. Nice one, Cyborg. Okay, so, yes. My, my big bits of news were I finally replaced the blade. Awesome. Um, yeah, if anybody um, has the, the wherewithal to do so at the moment, Tidders is an absolutely fucking amazing mod. She always, uh, she always rushes in, not just on my streams, but on the other streams that she's a mod for as well. She's absolutely fucking brilliant, and she doesn't get paid to be brilliant. So, um, exclamation mark tip goth, if you want to send her something through... Um, Streamlabs and the PayPal money pool link um, that she's posted uh, if you want to contribute towards her uh, fundraiser. If I could pay you tid as I would, I can't even fucking pay myself at the minute. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that. Now, the other bit of news I have, and I'm pretty sure you're lurking right now. I just want to say a massive thank you to Torpor, who sent me the
these absolutely fucking adorable metal squigs. Um, they are proper classic little metal squigs and I think they will be a wonderful addition to my slowly growing squig hoard. Um, Swapot also sent me a massive bottle of um, bulldog uh, tonkatsu sauce and some Japanese mayonnaise which I have been applying to literally every bit of food I can. Um, so massive thank you for those friend that was a lovely little treat and has really perked me up and these squigs are just fucking awesome i love the 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 sort of old older designs it's nice to have a little mix of everything i think like um where's full pier so full pier here beaky uh with a modern plastic raptor body and legs and then old metal raptor jump pack because um my understanding of night lords is that their armor is like um a grim dark version of supermarket sweep they'll just pick up whatever the fuck they like and uh, stick it on um so it made sense yeah, the old metal jump pack is so fucking cool. It's way nicer, in my opinion, than the new plastic ones. Oh, wicked titters! So lots of um, lots of nostalgic games for you then. <laughs> yes, mod hail exactly. Just looks evil as fuck. Yeah, it does, Panda. Which is kind of what you want for a Night Lord, isn't it? Okay, so. Let's build some squigs. I'm going to play Bretonia. Can't choose which Lord number from 1 to 11, so please. Brains being garbage. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go with 7, like Mortel says. Any PS2 FPS I'm really nostalgic for? Fucking good one, though. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, uh, I don't know if the, the jukebox uh, reminder is going, but if anybody does want to add any um, music to the playlist, exclamation mark SR and then the um, YouTube video link that you want to use. I'll just check that that timer is running. Yes, it is. Because um, this is the first week um, that I've not had leftover tracks from the previous week <laughs> so it's just what's in the standard jukebox rotation at the moment um night lords were the 90s batman comic of the already too edgy for school chaos marines yeah they were that's kind of why i like them though daft as that may sound Oh, and I'm sorry if you hear any weird noises in the background. Um, Slow is playing Destiny with some people right now. Um, and I have to have my door slightly open so that Porthos can go in and out and like get a drink and stuff. Hey, Hans, how you doing? We're building squigs today. Dilf Harvester. Dilf Harvester works really well, Cyborg. I like that. Night Lords used to be my first army until I discovered Orcs and GW retconned the Night Lords into schoolyard bullies. That's fair, Mod Hale. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Hey, Slow. Hi, Paul. Slow is no longer playing Destiny with people. Uh... He's now harassing me and the dog. Oh, okay. Dammy says hi. Hi, people on chat. Hello. You probably heard that. Like, Make squigs not war. That's yes. Can't be his inside voice, and, you, and I'm like, yes, yes, it is. 
projection? What's that? That's just my normal speech. I know, dear. Was I being big? Was I being loud, chap? Was I overshadowing Hobby's very... Are they the Metal Squigs? I haven't actually seen them yet. You've not seen... Oh, he's not seen the Metal Squigs. No, I've not seen the Metal Squigs. I'm coming... Or make a squig war. Yes, yes. I'm coming that, in, also. chat. Hello, chat. It's Slow here, reading the stream. Hi, Slow. Um, You're on camera. My face is on camera? This bit of you is on camera. Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? The, the Hobby stream chin reveal. <laughs> Okay, they're not quite the ones I thought they were, um, or or rather, they're perhaps not the sculpt I thought they might. So there's a really there's a really infamous one from the early nineties that's basically nothing but teeth, <laughs> <laughs> just this big massive grin. But these are actually quite nice. They're uh, lovely, aren't they? This one I think looks more like a horror. There's the case. <laughs> this yeah. one. Looks more like the like... world's most annoying parrot. Yeah, that one looks more like a, a, an old fantasy horror than it does a squig, if you ask me. But it's definitely a squig. I like um, it. This guy. This, I like them this both. guy's classically squig, though. He's got the profile, he's got the jaw, he's got the eyebrow. Might have a remaining bomb squig somewhere. Oh, <laughs> cool. You've got a bomb squig? Yeah, send hobby bomb squigs. Um, without context, that could be very distressing. Send hobby explosive squigs. <laughs> Don't, 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 don Chat. People may know I wear a trench coat. Okay. Uh... Oh, that's a great idea, Lynn. I like that. It's like a weighted blanket that you can wear. Please do not send Hobby any explosives unless they explicitly ask or if it's funny. Thanks, Tidders. Your support is appreciated. Oh, um, I have a copy of that cyborg. Research purposes. This was Mod Hale. This had to have been Mod Hale. And I am not complaining at all. I was listening to this the other day. Guilty as charged, I thought so. Yeah, the uh it's, uh melodica bros, isn't it? I finished my guitar yesterday, new tuners work a charm and it sounds beautiful. Oh, that's brilliant, titters. I've put a few of their tracks into my work playlist. So, in case you're wondering, I'm just dealing with the mould lines so that hopefully these squigs fit together nicely. <laughs> Thank you, Topo. Um, I haven't done anything with them yet. I'm going to um, build all of my squigs so that I've got a nice little herd and then I'll base coat them um, and such together. 
so I'll just sort of batch do them, even though each squig is going to be its own unique little squig. Going for a high output P90 for the bridge was a definite great idea. It has beef. Awesome. Anxiety brain gremlins are awful. Was worse earlier. Finally starting to calm down. Big hugs, panda. I've had a few days like that myself recently, so I know how fucking awful it can be. Okie doke, titters. Okay, that feels quite good. I've got that little bit there where I've uh, trimmed a little too close to the plastic, so I'll see if I can fix that up. Oh, ow, I got spiked. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, Torpor. I put some of the bulldog in the ramen that uh, Slow made yesterday as well. Um... <laughs> oh no, squig on squig violence. Consider it squig on squig medical care. <laughs> um... There we go, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Um, Cause Slow's never had bulldog before. <laughs> well, yes, I am mod hell, but there's a good reason for it. Um, yeah, so Slow's never had bulldog before, and um, I thought putting it into the ramen broth would be a good idea, and it was really fucking tasty. So I'll be doing that again next time we have ramen. Yeah, my microphone's picking slow up. I don't know how loud he is for you folks. But, uh, welcome back, Titus. Decided that seven giant signs saying take a number and wait outside did not apply to her. Ugh. Fuck's sake. People. Yeah, I uh, can't hear slow now. Okay, that's good. Because I can see it picking him up, but it's obviously picking him up so so little that you can't hear him, which is kind of what I want. <laughs> uh, hey, Kian. That didn't work, did it? Why did we not have any sound on the TTS then? Hmm. It did not. I will refund you your points um, if it'll let me. But let's have a look see at this first. Oh, wow. Tidders, that's beautiful. You've done a fab job there, friend. Well done. <laughs> okay, Kian. Yeah, that is absolutely gorge. You've done a grand job, Tidders. Well done. Uh, hmm. Should be working. Fair odd. Okay, I'm going to turn the text-to-speech off because it looks like it's having a mood today. Ah, haha, <laughs> yeah, okay. The, uh... Better Points dashboard has, uh... Vibin's working, but the rest of the dashboard seems to have shat itself. Just refresh it and see if that fixes the problem.
Hmm. Just a little bit of live tech support, don't mind me. Okay. I won't turn the TTS off because I might have fixed the problem by refreshing the page. We'll see. But if it fails again, I'll turn it off. Okie doke, Dammy. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, and please excuse me, I'm very thirsty today. Just dry fit in this to make sure it's actually gonna. Aha, it is. Indeed. In fucking deed. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right, Panda. <laughs> I forgot how strong this stuff is. Um, this is my favourite um, plastic glue. And uh, it's more solventy than my old Japanese teacher's pens. Uh, I miss Yuki. She were fun. Probably had something to do with the board markers, but she were fun. Managed to assemble a singular mini myself in the last few days. Awesome, Rocket! Can we know what kind of mini? Um, not so much deliberately sniffing it as um, getting hit with the, the blowback, I guess. <laughs> hey, Long Fang, how you doing? Okay, that's fine. I'll treat you like the Grand Galactic Inquisitor and uh, ignore you. Except we won't, because we don't work like that. That glue smells like the arse and the paper mill on fire in summer. It fucking does, Panda. That's a really good way of describing it. <laughs> exactly, Titters. Uh, okay. Oh, that did not come off the way I expected it to. Okay, be fine, be fine. Okay. that. There we go. Tammy Extra Thin. Yeah, Tammy Extra Thin's fucking amazing. You can use that stuff to um, make like your own liquid green stuff out of leftover sprue bits, uh, which is really fucking cool if you ask me. Oh, that's so much easier now I've changed the plate. I should have done that ages ago. Oh, excuse me a second, folks. Poor Foss, you clumsy bugger. This is why you're not supposed to go under my desk. You plank. No, you can't come up. Not where you pour the way it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, you're going to try anyway. Ugh. Thank you for the treat, Mod Hale. Yes, Tidders, actually he is. Um, Paul Foss has this really bad habit of uh, damaging 
one of his dew claws. Um, and when he was roughhousing with Slow yesterday, um, he bent it. And now we've just got to be really, really careful until it falls off. Uh, and I wish it was the first time this had fucking happened, but he's done it at least once a year, every year since we got him. And it's not like I don't trim the claws either. It wasn't that long when it happened. It's just, uh... He's okay. He doesn't even seem to notice. Have you considered reinforced paw gloves? Seriously, I am this close to making him wear booties and the cone of shame all the time. He's finally, finally stopped licking his paws. Um, like, we finally found the thing that works, which is great news. And then this happens. <laughs> Can't fucking win. That's what I was doing. He's looking at me, all cute and stuff. Like, please, can I come and sit with you? I'll be a good boy. But I know if he jumps up, he's going to injure his foot, so. Um. I don't think so long, Fang, because we took him to the vets about it the last three times it happened, and the vet was just like, ah, just wait for it to fall off. Um, and it's not, it doesn't seem to be causing him any discomfort whatsoever, he doesn't even seem to notice it. Um, he'll notice it when it falls out, because um, he always does, but when it's bent like this he's just sort of I guess it's like having a hangnail and as long as he doesn't catch it on anything he'll be fine dog had the same issue after we put on some healing cream everything was fine yeah um so I've got these uh little they call them blood stop swabs um and they're basically uh like uh hollow um, cotton swabs that you snap one end of and they've got iodine um, in the hollowed out area um, so when he bent it yesterday I just got one of the blood stop swabs out and slow cuddled him whilst I uh, played Dr Squig because it's always me that has to do the doctory bit. Hey Grox, how you doing, friend? Yeah, he's perfectly fine. I don't know if you could hear that then, but that's him spinning around in circles in the hope that I'll pay attention to him. You're so cute. Come here. Oh. You're being such a soft baby. <laughs> Fine. 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 Hang on a sec, folks. Come on, then. You don't know what to do yourself now I'm inviting you up, do you? Come on. Hello, you big soft baby. Ready? Turn around. Mind your nose. There we go. There we go. Much better view on camera now. Yes. Reminds me far too much of the main theme of Sonic 06. Hmm. No, I can get that. Yeah. Bring him down a little more so you can see a bit more of him. I mean, my microphone's in the way and I can't really do much about that. Ahem. <clears throat> do you mind? <laughs> so he immediately looks off camera. What am I going to do with your dog, eh? Mmm, yakisoba. Right. 
Perhaps I can get back on with my squigs now. Is that okay with you? Yeah? Dogs are squigs for humans. I guess they kind of are, aren't they? <laughs> Hello, I am cute. You may worship accordingly. Yeah. He's getting a bit like that. I um, think it was Modhale I mentioned it to the other day. Uh, up until recently, Porthos has insisted on being in my office while I'm working. And over the last, like, month or so... Oops. Um... Oh no, he won't do that, Kean. He's not particularly interested in what I'm doing over here. He just wants to sit with me. Um, yeah, a uh, couple of months ago he decided he'd rather sit downstairs um, where he can lounge on the couch and enjoy the sunshine. Because uh, we get a lot of sunshine through the back window. Um... And now what he does, if he wants attention, is he comes upstairs and he stands in my office doorway and screams at me and then runs away. And it's just because he wants attention. Oh, I know why you wanted to sit with me. Porthos likes the smell of solvents. He also likes cigarettes. The smell of, not to eat them, obviously. I wouldn't let him do that. Um... Oh, thank you for the scritches. <laughs> you enjoying that, mate? Yeah, there we go. That's the good shit. And this way? Yeah. <laughs> Don't eat cigarettes. It's way worse for you than smoking them, provided you eat the filter as well. Mm. Um. Yeah. Porthos has an interesting set of uh, tastes when it comes to smells. But um, yeah, when when our friend Leroy comes over, uh, Leroy's a smoker, so all of his clothes smell like smoker's clothes and Porthos cuddles up to him and he lays in his clothes and he climbs on his stuff and he like rubs up to him and everything it's we wonder if he was originally in a smoking household before we got him but it's, it's really cute it's not so great for Leroy bless him if he's trying to sleep on the couch because the dog will just lay on his face um but it's kind of cute that he's just so desperately attached to him when he's here Glue for dogs for those villains trying to sneak hobby supplies past the Brexit cordon. <laughs> nice on my tail. Who put Mario Party in? I mean, not that I'm complaining, just... Uh, you know, genre whiplash. Her old Terry used to try and bite the smoke if she was near smokers. Yes! I can appreciate how that would be a bit of a deterrent for people, Mod Hale. Um, someone who wants to in induce traumatic flashbacks, presumably. Fair enough. Was it you? Oh, it was Hans. Ah, ah I see. Um, eight. 
Oh, um, I cut the sprue in half so that I could handle it a bit easier under the camera, by the way, because it was uh, a two-parter. And yet again, I had a shower before the stream and now my hair keeps getting in my fucking face. a very close eye on the time today. Uh, nine. Ah, it's up there. Makes sense. <laughs> well, there are no speakers, Panda. Um, but he is... He's watching my secondary monitor. There's nothing on it other than a wallpaper. But he keeps sort of looking over at the um the OBS um video screen as well. So I think he's just noticing the movement. If he did see a ghost, he would try and eat it though. He's that kind of dog. Fourth Os mod. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh no, oh no, what are you... Okay? Uh. If by tech support you mean he likes to pull cables out from under my desk, yes. Really, he's more like a cat than a dog sometimes. He fucking has. Okay, are you, are you trying to go to sleep on me, sweet pea? Because, uh... You're just going to fall off if you do that. Hey, buddy. Be on my lap. No? You don't know what you want, do you, sweetheart? No. Oh. Nearly caused myself an injury then. <laughs> yeah, those cables probably aren't important anyway. Yeah, definitely not important when he gets himself tangled in the fucking cable for my microphone. <laughs> it's fine, I don't need that for anything. So who's covering this then? Because this is uh, Chemical Plant Zone from Sonic 2. Ah, uh, yep, that makes sense. Thanks, Tedders. Oops. The only downside to a sharp knife, if you slip, <laughs> you end up gouging massive great lines in things. Kid. Thanks, Ted. I spent so much time on these levels as a kid. Like. Oh, 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 you're not getting off the chair. You're just trying to take up more space on it. Okay, hang on. Let me move forward so you've got a bit more room for your butt. Happy now? It's okay, I, I, I didn't need to be sat in the chair. It's fine. Git. You're lucky you're cute. There we go. I would agree with this, Tidders. Donk donk shuffling. Yep. 
He's basically just pushed me to the front of the seat so that he can put his ass where my ass used to be. Dogs are like toddlers. They're really good at taking up lots of space, even though they're very small. Oh, thank you for the Hirasawa Susumu, whoever it was that put Susumu in. Let me guess, Cyborg. Hey, Shay, how you doing? I really need to rewatch Paprika. It's been far too long. Yeah. Kirasawa is very definite. Many hearts. I love his stuff so much. Very talented musician. And you can tell when it's him. Like He has a very very distinct sound um i mean i say the same thing about danny elfman and some people disagree with me but i genuinely think that susamu's um stuff is very very distinct You forgot you had Monster Hunter World installed. Oopsie. That's not something you want to forget because that's a fucking chonky ass game. I mean, it's worth it. And it makes sense that it's so, so big. Because they beat that engine into submission. <laughs> um, but... But yeah, um... Not something you want to forget that you've got installed. Because <laughs> uh, he's a space eater. Yeah. I, I would agree with that mod hell. Um, now, again, I appreciate... I'm probably a little biased here because I've always been a big fan of Danny Elfman's work. Um, I like the fact that he... Um, makes his horn section do the things that a string section should be doing and his string section do the things that a horn section should be doing it makes me laugh <laughs> and i like that um you can really hear even in his orchestral work the scar and new wave influences oh okay dog's getting comfy I'm gonna just give you a, a little bit less dog and a little bit more me, cause, um, yeah. Now he's making little grunting noises. Great. Should definitely play more of it. Yeah, it, it's, it's a really good game. Like, I know I've been playing Rise lately, but world is also really good dog gets comfy chair gets smaller yeah yeah it's okay i'm i'm a fucking second class citizen in this house my comfort is secondary sand that bit still a lot in it I don't get that's fair titters it's this may not make you feel better but it's literally taken me like four or five years to figure Monster Hunter out and it's only because I've had um, people supporting me and showing me what to do Exactly, Shanus. Like, if it hadn't been for Shanus and Longfang and DMAC for 
uh, teaching me stuff and frankly carrying me through some of the stuff in Rise uh, more recently, um, I'd be I'd be fucking useless. I don't know because anxiety. That's fair, titters. But if you do ever want somebody to um, act as a meat shield in world for you and help you out where they can, um, I'm always happy to oblige. <laughs> well, yeah, Shay. Trying to catch up. And I'm not taking them all on solo. Who put this one in? The only wrong way to play Monster Hunter is World is on an Atari 2800. Agreed. Good choice, Dammy. From my favourite Studio Ghibli film. No, that's right. Got to admit, I prefer the Japanese version. <laughs> Not being an elitist arsehole there. Um, both versions are good. I just... It feels like it makes... more sense in Japanese. It's from... Uh, Whisper of the Heart. which is the original um, film in which you meet the Baron and then the Cat Returns came afterwards because everybody liked the Baron so much that they uh, <laughs> made a movie about him. Breath of All Sparks is what I was. Nice, Shayness. That's wicked. Oh, actually, uh, can I reach them from here? Um, this has reminded me. Yeah, this version is a bit more Disney. Um, part of the reason I prefer the Japanese one. But also, she's translating the song from uh, English to Japanese which kind of loses a little bit of the feeling when it's all in English <laughs> you know um, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach him because the dog is taking up too much of my chair but I'll try ah, I can haha -ha. Okay, so this is the hobby shows you some of the cool shit that they own uh, portion of this stream. Um, this is my one of the two Whisper of the Heart music boxes I own. Um, I was very, very lucky to be able to get this from a nice Japanese person who picked it up from the Studio Ghibli Museum for me. Um, and, uh, it weren't cheap, but it was worth it. Um, but hang on. 
I'm hoping this will work. It's wicked, isn't it? Also, the, the Baron is total fucking goals. I mean, look at him. He's so dapper. If it cost what you were willing to pay for it, it was a good price. Yeah, exactly. And I love this thing. I've had it for nearly a decade. No, more than a decade. Oh, jeez. I've had this for a while. <laughs> um, and I have the partner piece to go with it, um, which is the Baroness. Nope, wrong way. Gonna have to wait until it's done now. Okay, back up with your missus, you go, mate. There we go. Just gonna have that in the background until it finishes. And I totally smacked my camera as I was uh, turning around, so. But yeah. It's kind of cool. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> all right did as i get the point <laughs> had it around the same time we first met yeah i did didn't i shit fuck so dammy and i have known each other since i was about 15 <laughs> fuck having a moment That was a long time ago, wasn't it, mate? Well, I'm turning 30 soon. Um, and we met in person for the first time when I was about 16 I think so it's uh, been a while hi Crystal how you doing I am building plastic squigs so i've got these lovely metal squigs uh which torpor sent me uh but i'm also building a, a squig herd box oh hey cog how you doing yeah i'm <laughs> obviously building the squig army yes i am um i'm building them very slowly though because this has been mostly a chatting and getting excited about shit stream so far. Eek. Found a raging hero as many I haven't painted. Dark Elf Forcerus. Big flying cat mount. Wicked! That sounds fun. Yeah, go for it, Tidders. Uh, I am sorry I didn't manage to get anything into the bot before I started. Um... Honey. Have I missed something, Rocket? Just finished my bolt action German's army. Oof. Fair play, Cog. Oh shit, yes, of course. Um I am looking forward to it. Um I would have liked for the second Mars Ed Mars Edgeworth game to get a proper release over here as well. Dub swap the initials, yeah. Well Ooh Um 
on the note of uh, avoiding copyright infringement, would anybody like to learn a little thing about Inspector Gadget? Um, which I learnt and was just utterly amazed by. The first Mars Lighters game was really good. It's a shame the second didn't come out. Yeah, agreed, Dammy. I really enjoyed the first one, but it didn't get a, it didn't get a particularly good uh, reception over here. Okay, so Inspector Gadget, uh, the original cartoon where everything started, was made by Deek, uh, the French company. Yes? I'm guessing people already know that bit, but I'm going to build up to it. D-I-C, dammy. Oh, did it is. <laughs> Please don't do this to me. <laughs> Indeed, Cog. So, what you may not have known is that Inspector Gadget wasn't originally going to be Inspector Gadget. So, there is a very well-known anime called Lupin the Third, which I am quite the fan of. And if Lynn's still knocking about, Lynn's also a fan. I'm, I've had numerous conversations with Lynn about... Um, Lupin the Third. So, Lupin the Third is um, the great, 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 whatever grandson of um, Arsene Lupin, who is a fictional character from a, a series of books by a French author. Um, uh, called Maurice Leblanc. Now, Lupin the Third was created without any input from the estate of Maurice Leblanc. Um, and they were very much of the opinion that they would ask for forgiveness before they asked for permission. <laughs> Which is very gentleman thief, isn't it? Um, but the estate of Maurice LeBlanc were perfectly fine for this weird little anime about um, somebody that was tangentially related to their big character um, to exist in Japan because it was in Japan out of the way. But Lupin got popular, like really fucking popular, and the studio behind the manga and the anime ended up working with Deke in France to create a Franco anime, because they were very popular at the time, um, of Lupin the Third. But the estate of Maurice LeBlanc found out, and whilst they were perfectly fine for the anime and the manga to exist, they didn't like the idea of something uh, being created on their home turf using their characters or people supposedly related to their characters. And Deke and it's uh, Monkey Punch, I think is the name of the studio behind uh, Lupin the Third, um, had already funneled loads of fucking money into this and um, had to had to give up and pull out. And Deke were like, no, we, we, need, we need to do something. We've already started animation. We've paid all these people. Fuck, what do we do? And that is how Inspector Gadget was born. Inspector Gadget was originally supposed to be a French animated version of Lupin the Third. Which makes me so fucking happy because I grew up loving Inspector Gadget and I came to... Um, I came to Lupin the Third later in life and absolutely fell in love with that as well. And, um... Oh, mod hell, no! I mean, you're accurate there, but no! Um, yeah, so that's my, um... That's my Inspector Gadget slash Lupin the Third fact for the day. Um... And 12? Yeah. 
Anyway, back to building squigs. <laughs> For some reason, Lupin and the Italian dub calls Zenigata Papa. Really? That's a weird thought. Oh yeah, the, the mould lines are an absolute pain in the arse, Crystal. Um, and I've got a gap on one of the legs on one of them. I can't remember which one it is. I think it might be this one. Oh no, it's that one. Uh... Yeah, look, absolutely horrendous gap there. That one's going to need some green stuff. And the mould lines are uh, an absolute pain, but I'm slowly working my way through them. Come on, off you come. There we go. Add a sprue. Fill it well, you say that, Tidders. This snot green is about the same consistency as liquid green stuff at this point. <laughs> Who put this in? Model, nice one, Model. Um, my favourite version of Jolene is the one that I think some folks on Tumblr came up with, where um, Jolene's actually like an eldritch beast. <laughs> I kind of like that as an idea. I'm just gonna, because I've very clearly knocked my camera quite a lot. So there we go. It's better. I just absolutely adore the idea of these people being haunted by some unknowable um, and deeply, viscerally terrifying creature that's just called Jolene. Yes, I am aware, Mod Hale. <laughs> She's... Uh, why well, I am smiling about it. Oh no, I'm with you there, Cog. I'm with you there. This is so much easier with a sharp blade. And they call me with an ad. Um... Do you have anything like uh, a TPS, a telephone preference service, where you are, Rocket? Because um, I know that's something that we have in the UK. Um, and if you're on it, then anyone that tries to advertise shit to you over the phone is uh, breaking the law, which is great. Because... Um, Every number I've ever had has been TPS registered, and the second you tell them that you're TPS registered, they shit themselves. It's really funny. Because they legally shouldn't have your information. No idea. I'm not the expert. Fair play. Um, it might be worth looking into. Well, that's banged off nicely. Thank you. 
Hope you use the knife with care, or I'm gonna start a shadow of the hedgehog and use it to the place. I'm behaving myself, Hans! Or at least I'm trying to. Yeah, it was, wasn't it, Longfang? I was thinking that. Okie doke, you take care, Crystal, and thank you for popping your head in. It's been nice to have you here. Oh, Porthos, why must you kick me? Uh, I remember when Shadow the Hedgehog came out. That was an interesting time. Like, bearing in mind I didn't have a PlayStation back then. Um, and I thought that every Sonic game would be fucking amazing. Um, so when I finally got a PlayStation when I was quite a fair bit older, I was uh, about 14 when I got my PlayStation 2. <laughs> I uh, picked up Shadow the Hedgehog, played it for a bit and went, oh no, oh no. Um, <laughs> never played a Sonic game. Uh, Nintendo household, Dammy? At least the soundtrack's good. I don't really remember the soundtrack, if I'm honest. Three D Sonic, I see, but edgier. Yeah, fair play to this. Didn't get my first console until I was about thirteen, and that was PS One. So, I had a Mega Drive growing up, but that was because my dad bought it. Um, and that was the only console we had until I was old enough um, to buy my own consoles. But even when I was old enough to buy my own consoles, I didn't have the money for the current gen. So I got, when everyone else was getting an Xbox 360, I bought a PlayStation 2. Second hand from GameStation. Which I don't think exists anymore, does it? But my parents got me, like, I think it was for one of my birthdays. My parents saved up um, and got me a um, yellow. Um, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and a copy of Pokemon Yellow. And it came, because um, this was back when most places did like uh, game bundles, and it was less of a rarity than it is now. Um, and it came with an electronics boutique yellow Game Boy case, which I still have. And my uh, Game Boy still lives in it. Game Station got replaced by Game. Oh, they they used to be two separate companies, didn't they? And then they got bought out. Something like that. It was it was still Electronics Boutique then, Tidders. Yes, I'm that old. <laughs> I deserved that one. Fucking deserve that one. I do absolutely adore that case though. It's like a proper little Game Boy um, fucking bomb bag. It's hilarious.
sorry, Long Fang. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if my microphone picked that up, but I just heard slow go. It's pizza time. Because it is pizza time. You're the worst Spider-Man. Pizza. Oh, it does, Long Fang. An opted out of more dungeoning for pizza. You're proud of me. Oh no, Titters, what kind of idea? She's threatening you with pizza now. <sighs> what, what are, you, are you serious, Titters? What's that for? It's nothing to do with you. Shoo. Go eat go eat your right. pizza. Don't crash in your stream. Are you though? Never. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Love you too, dear. <laughs> Back to the slow hole with you, indeed. Oh. Also, thank you, whoever put Sonic Spinball in here. Just uh, dosing me up with the nostalgia today. I appreciate it. Well, that's on the floor now. Oh gosh. Um, there you go. Fixed it. Sorry to whoever popped that in. put this in? Did somebody put this in? No, 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 it's fine, Long Fang. If there is a track, I should have known you'd put this in. Um, I had a moment of, has it just skipped everybody else's tracks and gone back to my fucking um, standard jukebox? <laughs> huh? Um, yeah, if there's a track playing that is making somebody uncomfortable, then we skip the track. End of. It's fine by me. This is a, a community run stream, as it were. I want everybody to be comfortable and happy here. And heck, I skip enough of the tracks myself. We've not had a new um, bedroom covers in a little while. wonder when the next one is. No, I like this one. This one's good. I mean, they're all good, but... No, this one's good. I like it. And it's made all the better for me by the minimal likelihood of me accidentally singing along to it. It is, isn't it?
There's some strong leaves. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, titters, you little shit. I see what you're up to, you bugger. Oh god, I remember that, Dammy. Because I always used to, um... <laughs> Picture of innocence, my arse titters. Oh, that's wicked, Rocket. That is not something I have. I have a lot of the um, the old Disney comics from when they had their own comic um, branch? Question mark. Um, and they did like Goof Troop and shit like that and uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Oh shit. My middle finger locked, <laughs> which is not really what you want when uh, you're trying to stick things together. Let's dry fit. Yeah, I'll be alright. And that way it shall stay, Tidders. Yeah, it's it's not so uh it's not so painful. Um it's more frustrating for me. Like I don't the the levels of pain I'm in on a daily basis just mean that I don't notice when I'm in pain normally, which is why occasionally I stab myself um with my craft knife on stream and don't notice until I start bleeding. <laughs> um which is terrible, I know, but like standard levels of pain do not do not compute for me. <laughs> for fuck's sake, tendons, get your act together. Yeah, exactly. It's completely unacceptable. <laughs> Porthos is fidgeting again. Just noticed a bit of a mould line left on here. Oh, that would be amazing, Cog. Uh, I've said this a few times, but I I like to go like full Ghost in the Shell, Motoko, Kusanagi. Um, just have whatever fucking body I want, you know. the best Sonic track I've ever heard, but it'll do. Wouldn't go human stab though, I think some extra arms. Oh yes! Who doesn't love an extra set of arms? <laughs> Mortale? It's just a flesh wound. It is but a scratch. Go full Doc Ock, yeah, could do. I mean, um, Doc Ock in uh, Spider Verse. I strive for that level of deeply unsettling, but also please step on me. <laughs> I'm never gonna get there, but uh, that would be amazing. I've seen her and I love her. Yeah, I know, right? She's amazing. Um, 
because she's smart and she's scary. Uh, um, Doc Ock in um, End of the Spy Verse. Shit, I should put her on the cosplay list. <laughs> that thing is already way too long. I have quite a few things on there that have more than one set of arms as well. I clearly have a type. Uh... Hey, Destroyer, how you doing? Ooh, what time have we got as well? Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Uh... Yep, we're on to the last one on this page. We get in there. Ah, oh, Madam Web's cool, but no. Um, Spider Verse Doc Ock is, uh, she's fucking rad. Yeah. What's up, so? Uh, I'll be right back, folks. I'm back. Oh yeah, Spider Gwen's really cool too. Oh, poor Thos. You've got so much of the chair already, mate. Get me pictures of Spider-Man. Thank you, Cyborg. Uh, really long thing. Hmm. I watched a lot of the cartoons, but we could never really afford the comics, so I didn't. I didn't get into comics until I was a bit older, and then it was just too difficult to keep up with anything. <laughs> okay, so the TTS is working now. That's good. Uh, are we talking... Um... When you say proper spider legs and shit, are we talking... Um... Spider woman? Or uh, are we talking something else here? TTS wasn't audible your end. Oh! Peck! Okay. Hmm. Should... Porthos. Fidgety bastard. Uh... Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's my fault. Sorry. Text to silence for us. It shouldn't be in future. I'm sorry, Titters. I can refund you if you want. Or I should be able to. Oh, he's gonna get down. He's gonna get down. Off he goes. Now I can have my chair back. Thank fuck. <sighs> Hi everyone, it me. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to hear my shitty line. Fair enough. Well, I read it out. Does that count? Oh, wicked. Ah, uh, well done, Dammy. Another absolutely stellar joke there, friend. <sighs> to check. Yep, fair point. Oh, thank you for the post check, Martel. I do need to try and sit better. 
I'm not very good at it. Uh, which is kind of a running theme for these streams, isn't it? <laughs> 13, 14, 15. Oh my. Thank you to everyone that stuck around for the last like hour and a half of me not even fully assembling a single squig yet. Um, I hope you're having fun. Weirdly, I am. Stream good. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, let's have a look, see. Oh! Fuck it, we'll yeah, do it live. That. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Yes, indeed. Did you hear it that time? Yeah, I've seen her before. Kind of only in passing, though. Huh. It's a really neat design. Huh. Neat. Bet that makes Thanksgiving awkward. <laughs> ah, well played, Dinners. Come on, off you come. There we go. I recognise this song, but not sure where from. Uh, I don't know. It's not one I recognise, I've got to admit. Comic art really has come a long way. Mm. I guess. It depends. Um, uh, no, I haven't, Hans. Um, I can't really check the Discord whilst I'm streaming. I'm afraid. Um, but I will look as soon as the stream's over. Oh, nice, Cyborg. Basically, the, the reason I can't check uh, Discord during this stream is because I left Discord on my other monitor. <laughs> which is all the way over there and I can't see it from here. Um, and I would literally have to wander off to um, sort it out so that I could open it up on this screen. Because I don't normally need to see Discord when I'm uh, streaming. You don't have to resist, Shay. If you want to put Ragnarok in there, you put Ragnarok in there. I mean, we've got quite a few things in the list at the moment. So, uh, there might be a bit of a wait. Ooh, that's a big bit of sprue. Came off nicely though. I think um, I managed to get a couple of the Sandman comics um, in a, a bargain bin when I... So I used to babysit. I know, terrifying isn't it? Um, for a bit of pocket change 
and what I'd do is I'd use the babysitting money to buy comic books so that when I went to my next um, babysit I'd have something to read. Um, to be fair, the lad I used to look after was a really good little kid. Kind of reminded me of me. Because he was sort of sweet and dorky. Um, he was only... I think he was about seven? Um, but he was this really sweet kid. He didn't have many friends. And he actually looked forward to me coming over to um, hang out with him. Which is kind of cute. Um, so he'd normally read the comics with me. Um, and then, you know, I'd like get him geared up to go to bed. Um, or we'd watch a film um, and he'd talk over the whole thing and tell me about um, what he liked about it and stuff like that. Which was fine. You know, you gotta let kids be kids. And I am very much of the opinion that in that kind of situation, you've got to let them enjoy things how they want to enjoy them. It's the same for adults. Oh, guys. <laughs> I look up and see that fucking sweetness in chat. He was a really cute kid. I hope he's doing well now. Um, but yeah, he loved having me round right up until the point it was time to go to bed because I would threaten to tickle him to death if he didn't go to bed. And it worked every time. I've always been a kill and we're kind this kind of person. Oh, stop it! not watched this in so long. No, seriously, stop it. You know, thinking about it, I can hear in the theme tune that this was originally going to be Lupin the Third. Like, there is a little bit in there that is almost identical to something in the Lupin the Third theme tune. Makes so much sense. And whilst I appreciate you um, throwing kind words at me, stop it, please. <laughs> I mean, it's lovely and stuff, but eh. no, 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 no. We'll have none of that. Mm mm. Mm mm. No, I'm okay, thanks. Uh. Ooh, good question, Cog. <laughs> Thanks, Long Fang. Um Seriously, it's very sweet that you think of me that way, but, um... I am far too awkward for this shit. <laughs> no! Dammy! I do not want a cult, thank you very much. You have to have a certain amount of members to be a religion. I, I would not like that either, to be fair, but yeah, also, um, yeah, 
the Scar version of this is so fucking good. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I mean, this is already a really fucking funky track, but TSPO did such a good job of the cover they did. Love it. I don't see why not, uh, Zathio, as long as it's not going to get me into trouble. We've got about 15 minutes left just to warn you all, so we probably won't get through all the music that's been put into the uh, uh, jukebox for tonight. Start selectively skipping! <laughs> I mean, I could, it just depends on what's in the list. Okay, I, I think that's, that's about clear enough. Just do the bottom. It's so funky. Come on. Off you come. Thank you. Oh yeah, you may have noticed I'm in a bit of a dancey mood this evening. <laughs> um, wait, I had a bit of a rough day today. Um, because something that that's fair long thing. Um, something really bad happened at work. Um, that meant I had to start work early, and um, I spent all day trying to fix it. I can't really say much more than that. Just oh fuck, you know. Um. So I decided to go have a shower after I finished work so that I could uh, kind of get out some of my pent up rage. The only problem was normally I do that by... Okay, we've already had this once, haven't we? So that one I'm skipping. I love having a button to do that with now. Oh, this guy. Oh, that's wicked. Oh, that's well cool. I'm just gonna leave that open for later. Thank you very much, Longfang. Oh, that wouldn't be uh, something I'd have to deal with, Modhale, thankfully. Um, but yeah, normally what I do is I... Uh, uh, I put my sing-along playlist on and I jump in the shower and I just, like, sing along to all the tracks. Uh, and Slow was playing Destiny with people on comms and I have it on good authority that when I'm singing, my voice carries. So uh, I didn't want to sing too loudly because I didn't want the people Slow was on comms with to hear. <laughs> uh, so I didn't really get the get the um. 
the normal release that I would from my rage shower. Uh, so instead, I just danced along to all the tracks that I was listening to. <laughs> um, which probably could have injured me quite badly if I'd slipped, but uh, didn't. I survived. But as a result, I'm in kind of a dancey mood now. Um, Because it's how I've been able to... <laughs> um, well, it's not that he has a problem with it, Longfang. Um, he was more letting me know because I didn't know. Um, and uh, I'm just a little bit awkward about my singing voice. <laughs> I'll think about it, Dammy. It's kind of weird having my own voice um, on the on on the bot, cause like it, well, the the fucking uwu one still wigs me out every time someone uses it. But thankfully, you don't use it very often. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Thanks, Titters, you knob. Because it had to be you, didn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, it, uh, it's weird hearing my own voice. Hey, Buff, how you doing? Yeah, let's have more Tim Curry and less me. <laughs> UWU. Yeah, I, uh, it, Anyone in chat that's ever recorded a podcast or anything like that um, probably has experienced the, the feeling I'm talking about. But hearing your own voice, um, even when you're saying something silly, is really, really unsettling. <laughs> um, and thank you for your lovely comment about my voice, Titters, but... I disagree. <laughs> and frankly don't have enough evidence to the contrary of my opinion um, to form a new opinion. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Dammy. I will fucking take it out if um, people keep using it. Because <laughs> it will just wig me out too much. Uh, what am I building? I am building squigs. Could add a delay for it too. I could! That's a good idea, Zafio. Squig army, yes. Happy squig is definitely, definitely the right choice right now. Thank you, Buff. First time she had it, she wasn't quite sure if I was watching a video with speakers on. Oh, wow! I mean, I can imagine, um, especially depending on... Oh, no! That's too loud. There we go. Is that... That's about the same, isn't it? This one's just really fucking loud. Uh... Yes, yes it does, Titus. 
Um, if it's still too loud, then feel free to turn it down. Yeah, that works. Because I only have specific commands at the moment. Never needed to turn it down any lower than 10 before. Oh, this one's quite loud, Dammy. See, the only problem with um, getting stuff off for YouTube is um, the audio quality is different. This leg. Yeah. Yeah, that'll fit fine. I'm skipping it because it's looping. Um, and because it was still really loud for me. I don't know about anybody else, but... Oh, I'm guessing this is the track I'm going to get to hear. Um... when I've increased my hunt rank a little bit. I'm guessing Shane has put this in. Hmm. Training music. Hey Tidders, I think that was your end. It doesn't look like anything happened at my end. I don't see out at my end. Um, hope everything's okay both. <laughs> oh, okay. Might have been something Twitch's end then. Twitch had a little moment, yeah. Sounds like. We are running short on time. So... And I still have more squig bots to do. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Shay? It's a good track. I like it. Hmm. Um, you're fine to put whatever you like in buff. Um, none of the music that is played on these streams is captured in the recording. Oh, that's brilliant, Cyborg. Does it have the, the flames coming out the bottom of it as well? Did that just stop or did someone skip it? That was weird. Uh, 
Oh, it just stopped. Okay. <laughs> Awesome cyborg. That'll do. Okie doke to this. Actually, I've just seen the time. I need to finish up. Because uh, I've only got a couple of minutes left. And we all know it takes me fucking forever to finish up, doesn't it? And look, look. Put the cover back on. I'm behaving myself. Okay. Safety dance for the safety cover, indeed. Um, welcome back, Dinners. Exactly, Dammy. So, um, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's come along today. Um, I know I haven't got any of the squigs finished yet, but I hope you've all had a nice time anyway. Um, and hopefully we'll get them all built up by the end of next session. Um, and, uh, yeah, can uh, start painting them. Very exciting. Um, also, I'll have been paid by then so I can buy the extra gubbins that I want to customise them all. Anyway, um, we are not raiding our usual uh, <laughs> victim tonight. Uh, for those that didn't already know, it's Longfang's birthday today, so he's doing a special stream. Um, and we're going to raid him. And one last post, um, yeah, from Tidders there. If you've got a bit of spare change that you can throw her away, it would be really appreciated right now. Okay, so... We're going to go Ray Longfang. Um, I will be back on Friday with Valhalla. And then on Saturday with Narita Boy and Sunday with Inspector Waffles. So hopefully I'll see you lovely folks for one, if not all, of those streams. Um, and if not... Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone again for coming along tonight. And as always, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your fucking hands. And go help Longfang celebrate his birthday. Bye, everybody.